Greetings, YouTube people. So, uh, this is a question I've been getting a good bit here lately from uh, new spinners, and I'm using my polywog to demonstrate this because uh, this is a great wheel for starting out or just life in general. And it also, uh, as I've mentioned, is super fun to treadle. And I personally have the problem of letting my feet get carried away from me on this wheel because it's so fun. Like, it just goes so fast. So, um, this is a problem that I've been asked about and some tips on not having this problem. So, let me try to adjust the light here. See how this, uh, the problem is I usually get like, oh, I was spinning along and life was good, and then all of a sudden it stopped, and it's, you know, like I said, with a smaller head on this especially, all of a sudden it started, stopped having any uptake, and it it just got thicker and became like this weird twisty rope, and like, you know, I'm spinning and spinning, and it just won't suck up into here, is uh, the complaint. I'm trying to get optimal camera angle here. So what has happened is, um, one, this is a little wheel. It's got, like, little pegs, and uh, I would say this is for a new spinner that you didn't pre-draft enough. So see, I was, I made this mess by using this, um big giant blob here that I didn't pre-draft and if you hold on to it too long I think this is the other issue that people run into is they are uh new spinners and so you're trying to let me know if this looks familiar you're like fighting with it back here instead of um you know having it pre-drafted where it more easily goes in I have another video I just put up not too long ago called uh how to spin like a nice even single or something so it covers some of the same stuff but this is from like the opposite approach of like oh crap it's not doing right um if you're holding on to it too long while your feet are going see then it's just you're back here trying to make it be perfect and behave and it's not wanting to meanwhile the twist is building up here which is making it crazy and then when it gets all twisty, it's not going to go through this, even with this open hook orifice, it's just going to get like knotty here. Or it may even do what it, you can see here where it's like jumped a peg and because it's all like twisty and crazy. So it like jumped a peg here and now that's being all crazy. So this is your problem. You don't want it to get to this point. And if you're just learning, honestly, I would just, you know, kind of break it and start over or you can kind of, I would let it kind of, if you take it here and then kind of untwist a little bit, like untwist it, then you can usually get it to where, you know, see how I'm kind of walking it up that way. You can usually get it kind of at least where it's moving again. And then I would just break it here and see where, go to where your fiber supply is fluffy again. Because see, this is all kind of weird now because you've gotten twist into this big part of the fiber supply. So kind of relax the fiber <laughs> until it feels normal again and you get to a part where you can actually draft and then without doing anything with your feet I would actually kind of like pre-draft a little bit in your fiber supply make sure it's straight there and then just go slow with your feet until you get it behaving again and then instead of going from a big thing here now that you've got it behaving again strip this out some like I said, I have other videos explaining this more and our course that has a whole troubleshooting section, but I wanted to make a little free video for go through and kind of pre-draft some and strip it down so that you're not having to fight with it so much here and then connect it and then don't let your feet go too crazy and then you'll be back in business. But um, the other suggestions is if you're getting too much twist, then you might want to go, I like this second gear here on the polywog, but, you know, if you had it down here and it was, you know, you were getting way too much twist, I would say go up a gear, or you can even go up all the way to this gear, and that'll give you, if your feet tend to be fast, that'll the head will spin fewer times per pedal, and that helped me when I started because I had a real bad tendency of fast feet. So that can help. And also with this polywog and I imagine any other smaller wheel, this is the tension knob back here. When, and this bobbin obviously isn't full. But as you are on this one, kind of a hack on the polywog, 
As this bobbin is filling up, especially if you're doing more of a worsted or bulkier yarn on this little bobbin, you are, and it's totally normal and there's nothing wrong with you or the wheel, as it fills up, you will need to gradually, I mean, don't be like cranking it like crazy, but you will want to turn up the tension knob. And I mean, I mean like that much, just a little bit. And then as it gets even more full, when you're getting that last little bit on there, you know, turn it up a little bit more. And that will just help the uptake be stronger, which will wrap the yarn tighter on this bobbin and kind of keep it. Because once again, if it's not taking it, you know, strong enough from you, then, um, you know, it'll have a tendency to get kind of twisty. Oh, I gotta sit up, that was too much hunching. <laughs> so, there we go. <laughs> That was one thing I liked when I tried, um, I'm like dizzy now from <laughs> trying to film that. Uh, that was one thing I liked about the Lewitt and then the Spinolutions. The Lewitt was my first wheel and then I fell in love with the Spinolutions. Was I liked the stronger uptake because I, for me anyhow, having it kind of taken from me <laughs> instead of having to like feed it in so much really helped my yarn to be more consistent. So uh, that was kind of how I ended up with the Spinolution wheels was they, even though they are Scotch Tension, had a stronger uptake, in my opinion, which was more like what I'd learned on, which was my Lewitt, which was an Irish Tension. And it definitely had a uh, healthy uptake. So I liked that about Lewitt too. So anyhow, hope all that helps. And um, like I said, I do have, you might want to look up the video on spinning and even single. And if you really want some help, like I so said, we do have some course, uh, course on my website that's got like a whole troubleshooting section and is much more like step by step and doesn't have scary camera angles. <laughs> so anyhow, hope that helps and uh, let me know.